Rich, whether you have a vegetarian or a vegan in the house, that's what we've been talking about. So uh, the, we're doing one meal, sort of two ways, so that everyone is kept happy. This is amazing. You can have it is so delicious. one meal with the asparagus and the potato with the steak, one meal with the asparagus and potato, and portobello mushroom. And portobello mushroom. Both look amazing. And so here's the key. It's, you know, I'm French Canadian, so it's all yes. about the sauce. Like, of let's course. just get serious here. Okay, so we're gonna make a little sauce, but we're gonna make that sauce vegan. Okay, good. Style. good. So all that takes, and again, I want to stress this. Sometimes we're overwhelmed when we hear that there is a vegan in the, in the home. Mm -hmm. We need to be underwhelmed. Okay? okay, we need to just look and say, well, okay, we're having mashed potatoes and that and that. Fine, I will make my little reduction right. vegan. What does that take? Not much. Okay. So I'm going to get you to add all the ingredients. I'll yep. put this aside for a second because we're just going to use this to put spice up there. our list. So we've got garlic and we've got what? These both look like garlic. So it's garlic and ginger. So okay. I've got a teaspoon of ginger, uh, uh, two teaspoons of garlic. We're adding a little bit of soy sauce. Okay. Or sorry, balsamic vinegar. I apologize. Balsamic vinegar. Half a cup of uh, vegetable stock. Got it. And about a tablespoon. Give it a eyeball it. A squirt of uh, the maple syrup. Nice. And I'll get that so out of the way. So we have a little bit of now, sweetness. All of these things take time, but yeah. we're on television, yes, so we, we just are. have to show you how to do it. Yeah. Because normally the grill would, you know, take a while, and we'd right. flip it and we'd turn it, and so you could see the grill marks. Yeah. Here's what the grill marks look like when you're doing this at home. Got I it. will tell you, when you're at home making dinner, this is the number one buy for me. If, of a pan is a grill pan. You They're love amazing. That pan. Okay. I do. I love the pan, nonstick grill pan. Yeah. And you get another uh, one of these little things because you can do steaks in the winter. You can do the portobello oh, mushrooms. Nice. They look beautiful. And if you see the plate, you'll see that they do look very similar. They right? do absolutely. So this is what we've done. We've done a little reduction. Yep. But if you look at the reduction after it has now had a chance to boil down, mm -hmm. it really gets nice and thick. It does. And it becomes beautiful and savory. And it's a down home meal. This is the number one complaint of. Of people who love meat, they say, I miss my down home meals. You can right. have a down home meal yes. in the home with a steak. So, what you want to do is you always want to start your steaks first. Yep. Get them resting, yep. wash up the pan, put the portobellos on, and here's what you've got to make sure when you're buying your portobello mushroom. What are we looking for? Do you for? see how large this is? Yes. So there's two things I want to cover here. One is they shrink to that. Yes. Okay. Isn't that just sad? Yeah. So you wait. Want look at them. Look at the two of them together. Where did my mushroom go? So you might like maybe don't make the whole meal based on this one. Do exactly. a couple. Do a couple. Do a couple per so person. So that's something you want to keep in mind when you're purchasing them. A okay. second thing is people are very confused about the portobello mushroom All right. because people a lot of people suggest that you gill it. Okay. And gills mm -hmm. are just these little gills right here. Yep. Okay. And you just scoop them out. Right? And you put them in a little bowl and you just take them out. Here's the deal. Yeah. If you're a person who loves truffle oil, let's say. Yes. You like those little woodsy, yummy yes. mushroom dishes. Yeah. Don't take the gills out. Because that's what's going to give you that flavor. It's going to give you that flavor. So you only take the gills out if you love mushrooms, but you don't like that really strong woodsy flavor. Yeah. Okay? Okay, that's a good tip. And another thing is ginger. Using ginger and garlic. There's two things that I absolutely love. The garlic that's peeled yes. and fresh ginger. All you need is the back of the spoon. Yeah. They're so easy to peel. Grate it with a little rasp, you're done. And you're so good. Really easy reduction, regular I meal. I want to mention this. Yeah. So, you know, you, you gave us some really good tips about how you might want to swing this in your house. Um, mm -hmm. You've said also try and do meals where people can pile on their own ingredients. So like pizzas and tacos. Yes. So you're going to have all the ingredients out there and then everyone picks what's good for their particular dietary restrictions. Absolutely. It's, it's a smart. great choice and families love tacos and they love pizza. Yes. So that's a good thing to have once a week to take the stress off. I like them both together. 